Hello everybody, this is NCS07 here, and welcome to another review video. Today, I'm going to be reviewing Ratchet & Clank Rift Apart. This is one of the big PlayStation 5 exclusives for this year, and I've eventually finally gotten through the game, so let's talk about it. So before going into this review, I do want to say that the only Ratchet & Clank game that I've played before this was the 2016 reboot. I'll have an end card at the end of this video so you can check out my review of that game that I did a while ago. Very good game, by the way. But let's get to Rift Apart specifically. Starting off with, of course, the presentation. Now, this game is pretty similar to that of the other Ratchet and Clank games. You play as Ratchet and Clank and Rivet, but we'll get to that a little later. And you go through various dimensions to stop Dr. Nefarious. The two of them, specifically. It is pretty basic, honestly, when it comes down to things, but it does offer a lot of new stuff with the whole dimensions and riffs and all that jazz, jazz. It's pretty cool. And of course, these games' performance and graphics and the style, art style are so good. When I just play the game and I just take a few seconds to just take in the scenery, that's when you know this game's visuals are beautiful. It is all beautifully animated and just looks so damn nice. Every area looks, it's just bruising with so much detail. And it's just so good, especially given the fact that the game can run at a solid 60 FPS. Thankfully, the game has multiple modes, so you can have like a fidelity mode where it's 30 FPS, but the visuals are better, or 60 FPS where it's all much more consistent, but the visuals aren't as good. But it's so unnoticeable though that it really doesn't make much of a difference. Playing it in 60 FPS mode though is so damn beautiful. So good. So presentation wise, it is very, very good. Now moving on to the story. Now I kind of pretty much already said the story, but I'll kind of go a little bit more in detail. Basically Ratchet and Clank are going through a little parade to celebrate their time as heroes, but then Dr. Nefarious shows up and starts up chaos with the Dimensionator, which creates alternate dimensions. You eventually find out that there's actually another Lombax known as Rivet who lives in a different dimension. Eventually Ratchet and Clank get separated from each other and Clank ends up finding Rivet, who's a little wary of him but does eventually warm up to him as they embark on their journey to find Ratchet and regroup as well as Ratchet trying to regroup with Clank. That's pretty much all I'll really say as it, there isn't really a lot else to the story. Pretty simple story. Really, but it's still very good in the first place, so pass. Good story. Now, of course, on to the game aspect of the game. <laughs> it's very similar to that of the other Ratchet and Clank games, part platformer, part adventure game, and part shooter game. Very similar to that of the previous games, but it just feels so good here, especially with the haptic feedback from the controller when you shoot stuff out of your guns. It's, just, it's so good. It is so good. Honestly, I like the gameplay here much more than that of Ratchet and Clank 2016. And there really isn't that much different from that game with this game. It is a little different as sometimes now you can like get these rifts in the world that you can attach yourself to by pressing L1, which is pretty cool. But it isn't really that groundbreaking. But it really is fun to play. It just feels super smooth, especially with 60 FPS mode. It's, it's just a lot of fun. And it's, and it's like, and it's not just combat that's fun. It's also just traversing the world is fun as well. Especially since holding R1, you can use like these hover boots that can get you around a lot more efficiently. It is so nice when you're trying to backtrack and whatnot. It just works so well. Honestly, gameplay wise, it really isn't a deep game when it comes to gameplay, but it is so good. It's just so good. Insomniac clearly knew what they were doing with the game, and they focus on simple simplicity because simplicity is nice, and that's what they went for. And in terms of any real complaints with the gameplay, I think the only thing I can really think of is the fact that you can buy various weapons. However, you don't buy specific weapons for specific characters. So if you get something for Ratchet, you get something for Rivet as well. They both share the same account basically in the shop and the same abilities so there is that which i could see some people thinking is a bad thing but honestly eh, it's not really a big issue honestly i think it's fine enough it means you don't have to stress so much 
I did kind of think before the game would come out that Rivet would be like have character special abilities, but not really. Both her and Ratchet play pretty much the same in the end, which is a little sad. I think they could have went more into the character specific abilities, but it's not a super big deal because the game is still fun all around anyway, so who cares? Well, it could maybe be something I could do in a sequel. But in terms of like exploring the world, it's just so much fun to do. And it's so much fun to find collectibles and stuff like that. It's it's just so good. And control wise, it's obviously like completely fine with the controls. But of course, this is a PlayStation 5 game, so does the game use the adaptive triggers and haptic feedback as well? And that is a yes. The game does use haptic feedback very well. As I said before, it is just so good. It feels so good with the DualSense controller. And it definitely feels like this game was made for PlayStation 5. Now, moving on to the content. The content of the game was pretty good. It took so it took me around like 15 hours to beat the game. 20 hours, I'd say. Somewhere around there. Which is pretty good. Although, I do still need to platinum the game. Which I'd assume is like an extra 10 hours, I'd say. But yeah, very, very good game when it comes to content. It is a $70 game right now, so I don't know if it's necessarily as much as you want to pay, considering, like, Ratchet and Clank 2016 is only 20 bucks, and that game has, like, its own, has pretty much the same amount of content, but honestly, I don't know, Ratchet and Clank Rift Apart, it comes down to a lot of things, because I don't think game's price comes down to necessarily just the amount of content it delivers, but also just if it's fun or not. And how unique of an experience it is. And I think that's what it really comes down to. If the game is fun enough for the to warrant that $70. But I'm getting ahead of myself. Content wise the game is absolutely really good. And the music for the game. It's fine. I don't really love the music at all. It's, it doesn't really stick in my head much at all. But the music is pretty good for what it is. So moving into my final thoughts. This is a very good game. I like this one much more than Ratchet and Clank 2016. I feel like Ratchet and Clank 2016, the fact that it had to stick to the movie wasn't a good idea. But I think this game is really freaking good. It's really good. I do want to get back to it eventually to play more of the pl other stuff for the Platinum. I do plan to do it eventually. But yeah, I don't really have much else to say. It was a really fun experience, would 100% recommend it to you all, unless you are like most people and don't have a PlayStation 5 yet, in which case, I feel bad for you. But if you get a PlayStation 5, absolutely play this game. On my scale of 0 to 10, I give the game a solid 8.5 out of 10. It is such a good game absolutely worth playing and insomniac if you're watching this really freaking good game they they know how to make really good games i've noticed but anyways those are my thoughts what are your thoughts let me know in the comment section if you guys have different opinions and if you guys have enjoyed this video and want to see more of and playing stuff in the future then please consider hitting the like and subscribe button and i will see you guys next time peace